It all happens faster than the time it takes to send one radio command from Earth. So every step is pre-programmed. Uh, the parachute slows us down from 1,000 meters a second to about 100 meters a second. So far, it looks a lot like any other Mars landing. But now, things take a strange down, twist. Into a powered descent mode. We descend for the last two kilometers, look at the ground with the radar, and then about 20 meters from the surface, we employ our touchdown system, which is called the Sky Crane. We deploy the rover. We are still maintaining a constant vertical velocity. We touch down, cut the rover free, and fly off. It is a new architecture, and frankly, it looks crazy. <laughs> it, he, uh, you know, well, it looked weird. Rover, it looked scary. Very crazy, wacky thing. And it looked like that to the folks at NASA headquarters. And so we went through what ended up being close to two hours. There's lots of questions, there's probing. They ask about the airbags that worked so well last time. But this rover is five times heavier. Airbags would have to be impossibly huge. So that's out. What about a traditional lander with legs? With a heavy payload, it would be unstable, especially if it happened to land on a slope. That's one of the reasons that we, we don't like it. The Sky Crane, though, can drop the rover anywhere it can drive. It utilizes the rover's inherent terrain hugging capability. And the rover is placed in a condition ready to rove. By the end of the day, the head of NASA was convinced. 